what's going on guys we are out here at 3 a.m again for a different purpose this time we really don't have a destination uh today we're doing a one giant loop um we are doing the iron butt challenge we're doing the uh the 1000 miles in 24 hours so uh we're gonna put ourselves to the test put our butts to the test and uh see if we can get that patch so um we've seen a couple other people doing it so we got all our little tips and tricks and everything we got all packed up um really it's nothing we brought sandwiches <laughs> so other than that it's just eating up miles man so that's what we're about to do jeff just got here now so we're about to finish getting packed up and everything and then we're about to hit the road man before we do that guys before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're here for all the other videos that are coming out because we got a lot of lot more content that's coming towards you so hit that subscribe well, I'm going to get back on this bike and pack everything up and we're about to hit the road. So you may already know I got a couple things that's going to help out for the trip as far as like being comfortable, making, you know, Black Maddie a little more uh, comfortable on trips. It's already a great bike. You know, FJRs are like one of the best touring bikes out there, but the seat, the seat falls short. So I got a solution for that too. I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later and, you know, some other things that I did um, just to get a little, just one bit more of comfort uh, on a ride like this so but i have you know the ride back from milwaukee was 600 and uh and you know i was i was pretty tired at the end of that i could have i could have kept going but 600 was in my mind so today i got 1000 in my mind so we're gonna be focusing i may quit halfway and have to come back home but that's okay as long as i do it in 24 hours we should be good let's roll Wow. Okay, so first step is to record my uh, my mileage. Go to your mileage and take a picture. All right. So that's stop number one. The clock is ticking. Let's roll. I got my cushion. We're all we're all aired, as you see. As we're starting off, just real quick, I went with the Air Hawk uh, air cushion. So we're gonna try it out and see how much comfort I can get out of this thing. Let the iron butt begin. Huh? It didn't give me a receipt. Yeah, right. I'm serious. Wow. I guess that's one thing to consider on your trip. We're at gas stop number one. We haven't even left yet, and uh, Jeff didn't get a receipt printed out for the uh, the pump. So. Don't just take your time thinking it's going to be, you know, all, all easy. You might have issues like this. All right. I got my big old warm weather waterproof gear on already. Just because it's chilly out here. It's about 55 degrees. It's saying 64, but maybe it's about 58, 59. So I'm starting off 45,703. Yeah, baby. My bike's got 45 grand on it. I've taken this uh, this bike a few places. It was uh, kind of a toss up between the FJR and uh, and Titan. And uh, you know, you may be thinking, you know, well, FJR is made for traveling and made for you know touring. You know, the FJR falls real flat on the seat. Um, literally, it's it's painful. And uh, so it was kind of a toss up. You know, I got the risers for this. I got the seat pad and everything. And you know, you're right. It is a, a nice bike. So it, it did win out over it. But Titan has become a really comfortable bike. Um, it's uh, with the you know additions that I that I've done to it. You know, it's it's now a contender too for travel. It's just that short tank, and uh, you know, I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to deal with that. Um, you know, with the, the short tank like that, I didn't want to deal with having to stop every 85, 95 miles. It, it might be, you know, might not even find something in that short a distance. So, anyways, looks like Jeff's good to go. Clock is running. Let's roll. Gas stop one, well, the second one, the first one was the starting point, but first gas stop, we're in Oneida. Um, 
the loop that we're taking is throughout New York State. We're going from Buffalo all the way across New York State, and then we're looping down south through Pennsylvania, and then we're gonna come up through Pennsylvania and just, you know, loop around. So we're, uh, we're at Oneida now, about 185 miles in. Looks like it's misting, it's wet out here right now, but it's not raining. But uh, there's no bathrooms here, so we're gonna gas here real quick, and then there's another one about 30 miles up, and that's where we're gonna stop and, you know, use the bathroom or whatever there. Woo! Man, that first leg, I am so sleepy. Coming off of, you know, only had about, you know, five hours of sleep. Man, I wish I would have had like a full night's sleep, full eight, seven, eight hours or whatever. But we had to start off early so we, you know, didn't get back at three in the morning. But yeah, that first leg, oh, I need to wake up, something. Uh, we've seen a big cloud coming at us, so we decided to put the rain gear on. Another stop, just a little bit up the road. Yeah, another like I think it's only like 110 miles to the next stop, scheduled stop um, that we have. So still cloudy. I'm keeping the rain gear on, but feeling much better now. Ate a sandwich. I needed some food. All right, let's rock and roll. stop number two gas stop number two gas station number three anyways I think we're in Newburgh something like that but the skies are opened up it's blue now there's no rain so we ditch the rain gear I might even ditch this jacket because um, it's about 72 degrees now but um, so far my butt feels good but uh, still dozing off man I'm tired I'm sleepy like I was saying my, my butt feels good um, Crazy sleepy though as I'm riding. Jeff, how you feeling? I, I agree with you. I didn't get a good night's sleep and uh, and I feel it now. Yeah. But, but I, I'm not I'm not at the point where I'm nodding. I just I just yeah. feel like I didn't get a good night's sleep and I did. There was a couple times that I kind of swerved in the lane. There were some drift off moments there, so it kind of concerned me. I had to lift the the lid up a little bit to get some air. But uh, but so far the air seat has been awesome. Um, it's definitely better than the uh, the butt buffer. So. That's good thing, at least. I mean, I, it's, I, I can tell I've been sitting on my butt for six hours. So um, another thing, we're six hours into it. And where are we at? Newburgh, New York? I'm not sure. We're probably like 340, 350 miles in. Um, looks like we're making pretty good time so far. So as I was saying, I just stripped down a little bit. I might even strip down a little bit more. But the sun is out now. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to take a chance without the, the rain gear. Should be all right. I need, I need to smash another sandwich, though. That's for sure. All right, well, that's stop number three. We're about to get back on the road. We got a little bite to eat and everything. We got like another buck seventy-five to the next stop. That should put us uh, through the halfway point. I'm not even sure where that's going to be at, but Jeff has it in a GPS, so we out. Number four. My butt's starting to hurt. Not terribly bad, but you know. It has been ten and a half hours straight. 
but I think we're making really good time right now. We're at 550 miles at 10 and a half hours. So we're good. I'm planning on taking a break with the boots off at this stop. So found a little shady area behind this uh, gas station that we stopped for uh, after, what we stopped for? Stop four, yeah. We are at stop four. Find a nice little shady back area here where we can just kind of chill out. Finish our sandwiches. We brought uh, these big Wegman subs with us. I mean, they're really big subs, so they kind of held us through. But, uh, but anyways, the seat is holding up pretty well. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, the tension on my butt, but I mean, I've been sitting down for 10 and a half hours on something, and no matter if it's a, a cloud or, you know, cotton or, or gel, you're making contact with something with your butt, so that's the feeling I'm having now. There's no hot spots or nothing like that, but for the most part, I'll say that cushion really saved the day and made it, made it possible, so, um, so far it's doing well, and again, I have the Airhawk. The Airhawk, uh, I got the, the large cruiser one because it's the same price as the sporty and the small one was the sportier one. I don't know. That one seemed to fit a little bit better, have a little bit more cushion. So anyways, this stop, we're going to be taking at least an hour break. Um, we did 550 miles in 10 hours and um, so we're ahead and we took a one hour stop and our other stops were like at least 30 minutes and we took an extra one to put rain gear on too so we have that plus four hours so um and me and jeff we're, we're animals man we when we gas up we go you know there ain't no there ain't no holding up so we, we we scheduled a longer break here so we're just gonna chill out maybe try to kick the boots off somewhere it doesn't look like there's too much place over here to, to lay down in the grass but um but yeah we're just gonna chill out and try to you know regain some uh some energy and whatnot and then finish this last thing off we're at 550 so we got another 450 to go and then change we're gonna make sure we got it all but uh but yeah man I'm just gonna chill out and try to whoo try to rejuvenate all right well we got a buck 70 to go to the next stop it's gonna be Somerset Pennsylvania so uh about to pack up and get on the road about 724 down um, we're at uh, northern North New Paltz I don't know we're in Pennsylvania somewhere we're at the fourth stop I believe um, so yeah we're at about 726 ish give or take so we got like three mi 300 miles to go it's almost over man we got the majority of it down it's literally just we're just getting home now so Jeff has yet to get a receipt printed out of the machines <laughs> as you see with the first stop he had to, the, the only one he was able to get was the one that I used that worked for me and since then he has not gotten a receipt out of the machine since he's always had to run in so one little thing to consider sometimes you may have to run in so make sure you're picking your gas spots when you identify what gas spots before you go because that's a good idea identify it on the map first so you know what stops you're making they're open 24 hours or you could just pay at the pump but make sure they're open because even if you pay the pump, sometimes the receipt paper is gone. So 
every stop so far, four stops, and he's yet to get a receipt from the actual machine. So luckily everything is open that I selected. We went all the way down New York State Thruway because there's the, you know, the, the, the rest stops are right there. You know, all the gas stops are right on the thruway and you don't have to do any getting off into no town or nothing. We also loop down through Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania has amazing roads, you know, and although we're on throughways, which is recommended to do them on throughways because you're here, you're, you're here to pound miles. You're not here to see the scenery and take your time in the back roads. You're here to pound miles and, and get it done. But like the 76, the 81, the 84 and all that through Pennsylvania is just amazing. It goes right through all the mountains and everything. And of course it did not disappoint at all. So it's been a great ride so far. My butt's feeling good. The, the cushion is doing really well. Um, doing a lot better than the butt buffer does. Um, so I'll, I'll do some comparison about that and let you know a little bit more about it. But sounds like Jeff's ready, so we're about to head out. Get these last 300 miles. It's like just going home now, man. Like 300 is nothing. We got most of it down, so we're just about to get on here and pound it out, man. Get this done. Technically the last gas stop, but uh, we're in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, just before the border of New York. Um, probably the less than like 60, 70 miles or so, I don't know. But uh, the, the last gas stop is going to be when we stop the timer, which is when we get back to, uh, to Buffalo. And uh, we're pretty much done, man. It's, uh, what is it, 921? So, uh, you know, looking around like nine, or 10 20 10 30 or so from here it really is just heading home so we're about to boogie well that's about it this is the last gas stop got my last receipt so <sighs> i enjoyed it man i really did i liked it it was long it was definitely long the air hawk helped me but guess what happened about 65 miles before i got here the air hawk popped and is flat so my butt does burn now so it's a true bun burner anyways um i'll be returning that and trying to find out what went wrong with the air hawk um but uh i'm sure i'll have a video reviewing it <laughs> you know uh but anyways i just go through it you know how it was it, it was, was comfortable for sure um, but uh, try to find out what's going on and see if they can uh, send me a replacement. So, anyways, I'm headed to the house. I am tired. I'm gonna get out of here before I get robbed because it's about midnight. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, it was awesome. If you get a chance to do something like this, definitely do it. It's worth it. Um, plus, you get a patch out of it. So, you know. Anyways, I'm out of here. Make sure you hit that subscribe, guys. I'll see you on the next one.